yeah, well, well, here we are on the back to the River Spey. It's opening day, a great deal of optimism about. Um, last year we had uh, a, a reasonable run of growth, the first for a number of years. So I think that's providing a bit of optimism that we will, on the back of that, we should see a reasonable run of uh, spring fish, hopefully. So fingers crossed for the new season. Uh, uh, as well, um, the number of three sea winter fish, i.e. the larger fish that come into the river, mainly in the springtime, the numbers of those have been increasing in recent years. So again, there's a good chance of getting into a really good fish at this time of year. I'm the bio biologist on the river, so I'm involved with the Spay Foundation. So a lot of our work involves uh, monitoring the river, uh, Im improvement works like fish passage works. We've, we installed a new fish pass in Spayburn last year with the help of our, of our sponsor Spayburn. Um, so all of these things improve the health of the river. The work we've done on the river, monitoring the river, shows the river to be in, in good health. So there's good reasons to be optimistic for the for the future. We think. Uh, well, last year uh, there was a we had several fish in the 30 pound range. Uh, unfortunately, none were entered for the Mallet Trophy, which was we uh, we shall really try hard this year to get these fish entered into the Mallet Trophy, and also the Junior Mallet Trophy because. A lot of interest in junior fishing on the river. River Spay anglers do a lot of good work developing the junior anglers, so hopefully at the end of this year we'll have some nice fish to enter into these competitions. There's nothing better than getting a, a 30 pounder on the Spay, is it, on the fly, and that, that's a distinct possibility.